How does a UV reactor disinfect water? Now, a UV reactor consists of a, a quartz sleeve, and you'll have a light bulb that goes through the center of this quartz sleeve with a mirrored exterior body on the outside of it. Your water is going to flow through this all the way around the quartz sleeve, back and forth, and these two sidewalls will be mirrored. So what happens was, you'll have your light bulb in here shining light out, but as it hits the mirror, it reflects back through, and so it keeps passing through the UV all along this whole thing. So you have all those light beams shining through the water, being reflected back and forth to get the maximum amount of dosage through that. And how a beam of uh, UV light works is you have a uh, pathogen of some kind, whether it be protozoa or giardia, any kind of bacteria or virus, the beam of light is so intense that it punctures the protective shell around the pathogen. Now once it's inside here, what it does is it scrambles up the DNA, it makes a big mess of the DNA inside, it does not kill it, but once it's in there and scrambles the DNA, it prevents, prevents the pathogen from reproducing or multiplying. So you, when you, if you were to ever drink something that's been deactivated by a UV reactor, the organism will still be alive, but it cannot reproduce or multiply, which would be where you'd get the harmful effects from the bacteria. Uh, what is the benefit of chlorine disinfection versus UV disinfection? Now, UV disinfection is a great way of to disinfect, but there is no residual treatment for downstream. So if you're using only UV disinfection, you will have no protection upstream, whereas chlorine disinfection works better because there is a residual left in the water. And that residual can protect the water distribution system from any potential contamination getting into the water further downstream from your water treatment plant. Um, UV is also used uh, primarily on surface water because as the surface water will have more bacteria and other harmful pathogens. Um, and the chlorine will be always used as a residual effect on the far end of UV disinfection.